What this tells me is that you've made it up your mind. You have made up your mind that you are leaving this situation. 100, okay? If you haven't yet, you will. Making your mind up that you're leaving 100. Death comes in. That's, th that's your ending. Lack of success, right? Death, again, well, kind of with the Ten of Swords, right? Endings, it's over. And then look at that. Page of Wands comes in. Somebody's bringing you little passionate message, okay? Little inspirational message that gives you some hope that this situation can change. Hey, Sag, it's Dana. How are you? The Gypsy Psychic used to be Deep Thoughts with Dana, but now it's the Gypsy Psychic. Welcome to the channel. Come on in. Sit down, put your feet up, get you a blanket, get all snuggly, get you something to eat, something to drink, maybe even something to smoke. And let's snuggle up and read some tarot cards, okay, you guys? I have had um, requests, several requests, um, to do a Sagittarius reading. I normally pretty much read for Pisces and Taurus because I am a Taurus sun, a Pisces moon, Pisces Venus and Pisces rising, right? So I mostly read for Taurus and Pisces. However, I am going to read for Sag today. And you know, I'm not like your regular old YouTube readers, right? I don't do once a month, mid-month, mid-week, bi-week, none of that stuff. I think that general tarot card readings are poison for your mind. I do. I do. If you binge watch general tarot card readings trying to get answers to questions that you have about situations and circumstances in your life, you will drive yourself insane. So if you need wisdom, guidance, clarification, understanding about anything in your life or anything that's about to unfold in this tarot card reading, I cannot stress to you how important it is to get your own cards read. Let's do it. Let's do this for Sagittarius. So you guys, woo, look at that. Cut the deck. Fool on the bottom right there. So you guys, let's uh, see what the cards have to say. All right. Let's see what they have to say. This is going to work like it always works. Okay. If you have been here before or if you intend to come back, I will shoot the shit with you for a second and then I'll get all serious and start channeling some messages. Okay. All right, Sagittarius, let's get into this. My sister is a Sagittarius, and my ex-husband wife is a Sagittarius. I like Sagittarius. I do. Nothing like nothing like uh, telling, the, telling it the way it is. <laughs> right, you guys? Right on. And if you haven't noticed, I tell it like it is, too. So let's get started here. Let's get serious. All right. Spirit. Source universal energy. I have the collective of Sagittarius with me. Please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen to bring the collective of Sagittarius the message, the messages that they need to know and understand. Right there. All right, that's the sweet spot right there. All right, let's cut three times and see what we get. Let's go one, two, three, one, two, three. General reading for the sign of Sagittarius, okay? Bottom of the deck, the chariot in reverse. This is no forward movement, okay? All right, can you guys see these all right? Let's see, let me move these guys out the way. Get out the way. Okay, so we have the nine of swords right out the box for you guys in reverse. This is hopeless, a painful lesson. Sometimes it's just an immense amount of anxiety and despair. The tower in reverse, averting disaster, possibly a personal transformation. There you go, making a decision, taking some action, executing it, possibly communication. The ten of cups in reverse, talking to us about uh, a lack of emotional fulfillment, breakup, loss in the family. Six of Swords in reverse, lots of water under the bridge, maybe stuck for some reason. The Seven of Pentacles, reflecting and assessing profit, reward, investment, sowing seeds, planning. The Star, purpose, hope, faith. Seven of Cups in the center of your reading, decisions. The King of Pentacles in reverse, perhaps booting somebody out. Um, perhaps a lack of success for you, worried about appearances, 
Nine of Wands in reverse. Uh, defensive, hesitant, paranoid, overwhelmed. The King of Cups in reverse. Emotional volatility. Re mm -hmm. Seven of Swords in reverse. Breaking free. The Ten of Swords in ending. The Five of Swords in reverse. Open to change. Um... Lots of resentment? What is going on here, Satch? I haven't done a spread for you guys in a long time. Something big is happening here. Let's see. Let's see. So the alchemist in reverse. Uh, an inability to manifest, possibly potential. Five of swords in reverse could be open to change, and the alchemist could be potential. The prince of cups in reverse to the four of wands, to the ten of wands in reverse. Princess of Swords in reverse, all talk, no action. The Three of Wands having some foresight and judgment being a decision. To the Nine of Pentacles, to be single. There's that Fool card, right? Uh, new beginning, new journey. Seven of Wands in reverse. Let's see, Seven of Wands in reverse. To Death, to the Princess of Wands, to the Page of Pentacles, to the Four of Pentacles. Ah, and then enter the Devil. Okay. All right, we're going to take that, and then we're going to read these this way. Four of Cups in reverse, Two of Pentacles in reverse, Ace of Swords in reverse, the Wheel in reverse. Okay, I see. I see. So it stops there because it's it's a blockage, right? Um, okay, let's see. What are we going to clarify with these? All right, you guys, let's jump into this and see what is happening there's definitely beautiful things in your future. Let's see what's happening here. All right. Nine of Swords in reverse to the Tower in reverse. What is this about? Page of Swords in reverse. All talk, no action, undelivered promises. Lack of ambition, lack of focus. Knight of Swords in reverse. Scattered in the mental. Disregard for consequences. So what would be the tower in reverse what would this be about the two of cups in reverse averting disaster by breaking off a relationship interesting prince of swords that's your decision ten of cups in reverse broken home broken family six of swords in reverse too much water under the bridge to the sun looking for your happiness edge your happiness life is too short to the seven of pentacles all right reflecting assessing what do we got there so hey everyone come on over to the patreon page and check it out see if it's something that you might be interested in it is a more intimate environment where there is more one-on-one -on -one personal things happening. Of course, you get access to my videos ahead of time. You get access to any extended videos that I put out. And we have a once a month um, personal meeting where we all just sit around and shoot the shit about tarot and life and metaphysical stuff. We'll throw some cards and it's just going to be a fun one-on-one -on -one hangout kind of session. So if you're interested, come on over to Patreon. There is a link in the box below. Namaste. All right, Sag, this is what's going on, okay? This is what this spread says for whomever it may hit home with. Now, this is not a buffet, okay? This is a story from start to finish, and it's either your story or it's not, okay? You can't choose to, to you can't pick and choose the details. It's either your story all the way through or it's not your story, okay? Okay, okay, all right, so... Sagittarius, nine of swords in reverse. You are in a state of utter, utter despair. You open this reading in a state of just, I can't tell you the despair that I feel right now, right? It's just like, fuck my life, man. I can't, this is a painful lesson. Learned this one, painful lesson. Learned this, can't believe. I got myself in this situation. Why? All talk, no action, undelivered promises. Ace of Wands in reverse. A lack of ambition, a lack of focus, frustration, hesitations, delays. Knight of Swords in reverse. All kinds of scattered energy all over the place. So this tells me that you are up in your head hard, hard, um, 
about a, a subject matter or an issue, a, a circumstance, situation in your life where there is all talk, no action, undelivered promises, stalling, delays, hesitation, a lack of ambition, a lack of focus, scattered energies just everywhere. There, This is a card about a need for responsibility, okay? So something is just shaken down either on your side or your person's side. That person, your person being, it could be work, it could be family, it could be love, marriage, it could be anything, okay? Your neighbors, right? Could be anything, but there is something in your life that is just beyond frustrating, beyond frustrating for you. The tower in reverse, averting disaster, right? Going to, you know what? I just need to cut this off. Look, two of cups in reverse, a breakup, a dissolution of some kind of union, whether it be with a job or a human, okay? So you're in your head, Sagittarius, going, you know what? I am just going to have a personal transformation. I am just going to avert this disaster all the way around. Two of cups in reverse. I'm going to sever this relationship. Prince of Swords, I have made a decision and I am taking action in my mental to move towards averting whatever it is this bullshit situation is for you right here, right? Ten of cups in reverse. You're not happy. Six of swords in reverse, all kinds of water under the bridge, right? Just all kinds of water under the bridge, all kinds of just mud everywhere, right? And the, and Major Arcana, the sun comes on top of it and talks about you finding your happiness someplace else, just someplace else, just not in this situation. I want to leave it. I don't care. Disregard for consequences. I just... I just want to find my, my son. I just want to find my happiness. And Spirit says that you will find happiness in the decision that you make in this situation. Regardless of what that decision is, it will be your happiness if you follow your intuition and listen to where Spirit is leading you. Okay? The Seven of Pentacles. Reflecting, assessing, discoveries, motivations, right? Uh, investigations. You're, you're planning something right here in this seven of pentacles. Planning, planning to leave this situation, planning to end this union, whatever it is for you in pursuit of your own happiness. But the queen of pentacles comes on top here. This um, could be you, Sagittarius, reassessing the situation from the from the aspect of your security, right? Maybe you hold title or position in your home, in the relationship, in your job. Um, perhaps this is your mother right here that maybe you have a beef with, right? Um, perhaps your mother's giving you advice in this situation, but nevertheless, you are planning and you're reflecting upon your security. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, right? Or lack thereof. Um, Ten of Pentacles in reverse is loss. Loss in the very foundation of the security that you've built for yourself. And the Five of Wands in reverse tells me that you want to avoid this conflict. You want to avoid losing all of the security that you have in this particular situation. Because up here, you're hot, right? You are hot hot in this top row and you're like, screw this, fuck you, fuck that, and fuck all of this. I'm leaving and I'm going to go find my happiness. And then you start looking around, right? You start looking around, you start thinking, planning how you're going to do this with the seven of pentacles. And you come to a, a, a revelation that if you do this, you're not going to have your security, right? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Not only are you not going to have security, but you're going to not have any kind of stable foundation at all. And the Five of Wands in reverse is about avoiding conflict, right? It's like, I don't know if I really want to do it like that or not. Star comes in. This is a card about hope, okay? Hope. And as you are contemplating what your happiness is, the star talks to you about being major arcana, about hope and faith and purpose in your life, your purpose in this situation, the situation's purpose in your life. And it's followed through with the hangman, no less. This hanged man is spirit saying, pause, put the brakes on, pause, 
process some of this and come out on the other side of this decision-making process with a new perspective about things. Just think about this. To the Ten of Wands in reverse. Ten of Wands in reverse is about an overwhelming burden. What would be an overwhelming burden? Well, not having the security that you currently have in this situation would be the overwhelming burden. Even though it's all talk, no action, undelivered promises, um, lack of ambition, lack of focus, even though it would be an overwhelming burden for you to lose your security in this situation. To the Seven of Cups. Options, choices, decisions. Which one am I going to take? How am I going to go? What am I going to do? Sometimes it's about fantasy and illusion as well. To the Seven of Cups again, right? In the center of your reading, options, choices, decisions. The King of Pentacles in reverse. This is a couple of things. This could be the situation that you are dumping, some kind of situation that hold held title in your life at one point, but in the reverse, it does not or will not anymore, okay? Now, this whole reading could be past, present, or future, okay? So take it with a grain of salt. This King of Pentacles could be you worried about appearances, right? Ooh, where am I going to live? What am I going to drive? What am I going to do, right? And, and the, my community can't know this about me, or my family can't know this about me, or my coworkers can't know this about me. Could be. It's a general reading. I don't have any idea who I'm reading for. If this was your reading, I could zero in and we could talk about things specifically applicable to your life. But I don't know who I'm reading for here. All I know is some Sagittarius out there needs to hear this message and I'm giving it to you. Okay? Okay. So the King of Pentacles in reverse, right? Some issues. Issues with the situation, the person in the situation. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Some things are just not negotiable. Um, this is also about a lack of teamwork and collaboration, right? You aren't getting teamwork and collaboration with King of Pentacles because remember, you're the Queen of Pentacles over here, right? You are not getting the teamwork that you need from this situation in your life. And the teamwork that you're not getting is not negotiable. You must have the teamwork that you expect from the King of Pentacles in order to run things, right? Nine of Pentacles. This is self-sufficiency, independence. Maybe we're talking about a business. Maybe we're talking about a business partner, okay? But there's something that you're not getting that you need to get that is causing you to want to just abandon the whole situation, but your self-sufficiency and your independence, there's a problem with that. Because over here, if you leave this situation, you're not going to have the security that you have right now or had in the past, right? And that's a blockage with the world card in reverse. It's, it's a blockage. It, it, it is a stopping point for you. Despite whatever's going on here, nine of wands in reverse, defensive, hesitant, paranoid, overwhelmed, giving up, to the Ace of Cups in reverse. Maybe you don't love this person anymore. Maybe the emotions are just so overwhelming because you can't get any kind of cooperation from them. To the Eight of Cups, that you just really want to abandon the situation. I mean, that's just what it boils down to. You just really want to walk away from the situation because you are utterly, utterly disappointed that this King of Pentacles in reverse right here can't uh, sh shut up or put up. It's what it boils down to. So the King of Cups in reverse, okay? This King of Cups in reverse is, I think it's a couple things. I think it's emotional manipulation um, coming towards you. Maybe from you, though, right? Sagittarius is cunning, right? Sagittarius ain't, no, ain't stupid. Y'all aren't fools. You're cunning. Maybe you are going to emotionally manipulate the situation. Perhaps there's emotional manipulation coming towards you because we do see someone coming back around right here. Okay? To the Seven of Pentacles yet again. Planning, reflecting, assessing. Maybe you're trying to come up with a plan to emotionally manipulate this person to get back on board with things. Okay? 
to the Seven of Swords in Reverse. Seven of Swords in Reverse talks about mental issues associated with betrayal, deception, and deceit. It's also a card about breaking away from said issues. Okay, so I, and I think this is about breaking away to the Ten of Swords, bringing it to an ending. Or this could be that there is crisis in the situation that needs to be dealt with right now. Death comes in and talks about an ending. An ending to this situation all the way around. Major Arcana, an ending to the situation. How does the ending occur? Well, through a transformation. It's the ending of the way that things were and the beginning of the way that things will be. Okay? Six of Wands in reverse. A lack of success, a lack of reward, a fall from grace. To the Ten of Swords. Endings, betrayal, deception, pain. To the Page of Wands. Here comes the message, right? Here comes the message. So this is all twofold right here. What this tells me is that you've made it up your mind. You have made up your mind that you are leaving this situation. 100, okay? If you haven't yet, you will. Making your mind up that you're leaving 100. Death comes in. That's th that's your ending. Lack of success, right? Death, again, well, kind of with the Ten of Swords, right? Endings, it's over. And then look at that. The Page of Wands comes in. Somebody's bringing you little passionate message, okay? Little inspirational message that gives you some hope that this situation can change. Five of Swords in reverse, right? This is about a lot of resentment, which you do have here, but this is also about being open to change, okay? So open to change. So this little message comes in with the Page of Wands, a little bit of inspiration that kind of perks you up about the situation, okay? Open to change, lots of resentment, but open to change to the alchemist in reverse because one, you don't have the ability to manifest this by yourself. You need this person. Whoever this is, whatever this is, you need this person to manifest your, 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 your show here, right? The alchemist in reverse is also about seeing potential, right? So you see potential in whatever the message of this page of wands is. The lovers, this is choices, this is significant relationships, okay? To the fool, new beginnings, new journeys, the page of cups, apologies, um, creation to the king of wands. This king of wands in the upright is this king of pentacles in the reverse right here, right? Because in this attitude, in this, in this energy right here, you are anti king of pentacles. You're dumping it. You're, you're done with the situation. You're moving on. You want to move on, but the blockage is you won't have the security that you have now, right? So you're thinking about possibly emotionally manipulating this person to get your way. Possibly this is emotional ma manipulation that's coming to you right here, but you're planning. Planning, planning, planning. You, you're going to end it with the Ten of Swords. You're going to break free. Um, you have tons of resentment, but death, there's an ending, right? This is your decision. I'm ending this. But this is also a transformation because of this Page of Wands message that comes into you right here. Now you're a little bit open to change. Now you have some hope that there can be potential. The lovers, this King of Wands right here, and the King of Wands is a card about the, uh, the uh, uh, achievement and success, okay? Achievement and success. So this is representing the, the this person that you need to maintain your sense of security, okay? That's who's bringing you these messages. The Fool, brand new beginning, brand new journey. The Page of Cups, messages of creation. The King of Wands coming from this person, they're both inspiration, they're both fiery, right? This person is bringing you this message of the Page of Wands. And the message is, let's pull this back together again. Let's get the union going on again. Let's create, let's forgive and forget. Let's be enthusiastic and excited about this situation and let's move forward. Prince of Cups in reverse, right? You know in your heart of hearts that it's really not realistic. It's not. It's really not realistic. Nine of Cups. But they're offering you in these two little messages here, 
it makes your heart sore, right? With the, with the nine of cups. This is wishes fulfilled. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. And that's what's on your mind, right? Structure, foundation, and stability, right? Overwhelming burden of the Ten of Wands to the Princess of Swords in reverse again. All talk, no action, undelivered promises, okay? This is still the root of the issue. So you're kind of thinking or engaging in this particular situation knowing in the back of your mind that it's probably always going to be all talk, no action, undelivered promises. But if you can manifest some kind of potential in the situation, it might have a chance of working. Three of Wands, looking into the future, having some foresight, right? Like I said, you need this person to perpetuate your situation. If you leave this situation, you won't have this person and you have a problem doing this on your own somehow, some way. So you need the security, the other half of the security that this person offers. Judgment, making a decision. What are you making a decision about? The nine of pentacles, independency and self-sufficiency. What's this independency and self-sufficiency? Well, it's negating the insecurity over here, right? The decision is, as I look into my future, right? I'm going to have to make a decision about how to take care of myself with the Nine of Pentacles. And the Fool here, New Beginning and a New Journey, covers... Where'd that Fool go? I thought there was a Fool here. Yeah, where's the King of Wands? Where'd he go? Oh, here he is, right here. This Fool, the offer of the journey of the King of Wands is this same fool right here. So you're making a decision about your future and it is to a new beginning and a new journey. It is to a new beginning and a new journey. The Seven of Wands in reverse, talking about um, giving up, right? Just giving up the fight to death. Ending change, transformation, embracing this transformation. Princess of Wands, accepting the messages of inspiration. Princess of Pentacles, accepting the, the messages of manifestation. The Four of Pentacles, because your structure, your foundation, your stability, the control of your life in the realm of security depends on it. Spirit wants you to know you're dealing with the devil, though. You're dealing with the devil. This is an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. Why? Well, you can't get out of it. As much as you want to leave this situation, you can't leave. Why? Because you're compromising something um, in or about yourself because you need whatever this situation has. Spirit just wants you to know straight up, you're dealing with a situation. Perhaps this is a perpetuated situation, a repeat situation in your whole life maybe. Maybe you are codependent. I'm surprised the Empress in reverse didn't come out. Maybe you're codependent on somebody. And word for the future might be to try to get yourself out of being so codependent. Look at that, the Two of Pentacles. Prioritize your life. Get your act together so you don't have to be dependent on this person. Whether it's a marriage, a relationship, a business partnership, a job, an employer, kids, whatever the situation is, right? Prioritize yourself. And that way, with the nine of swords in reverse, you won't have to experience the mental anguish, king of pentacles in reverse, if you ever want to cut somebody's title out of your life. What else, spirit? Look, seven of swords to the four of wands. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. You are exchanging something for self-preservation. That's what you're doing. The Seven of Swords is about betrayal and deception. It's about shady behavior, trying to get away with something. It's about, it's about galloping off with someone else's swords and looking back and going, ha, I got you. I don't know. Maybe this person's manipulating you. Maybe you're manipulating this person, but somebody's being manipulated in this situation and somebody's trying to get away with something. And 
Unfortunately, I call it like I see it. If you want a milk toast reader, there's a bazillion of them on YouTube. But I see this as Sagittarius being deceptive. I do. Sagittarius trying to get away with something, compromising their own value system in order to persuade this person to stay in a relationship or, or, or answering the call from this person to stay in the relationship um, because it gets you what you want. It's true. That's what I see here. It's what I true. What do, what do you want? The four of wands, right? Structure, foundation, and stability in your life. Let's do a numerology oracle card, okay? Let's see what these have to say. What's our time? 38 minutes. Woo, okay. Might not be 38 minutes by the time I fast forward all the clarification and stuff. But nevertheless, we've been on here for a minute. Spirit, what do you want Sagittarius to walk away with? Whomever this reading is for right here, what are your closing words? What are your parting words for this situation? What are your parting words in for Sagittarius? Leadership. What is that about? Hmm. Leadership. And that card definitively flew out of the deck. So as much as I don't think right now it might resonate with this reading, it's something that this person needs to know. Okay. So leadership card number 81. This card indicates a time to lovingly lead and guide others who are less capable than you. There you go. There you go. The all talk, the no action, being totally frustrated with this person not, not, not collaborating with you. Perfect. Thank you, Spirit. Right? Who am I to judge? This card indicates a time to lovingly lead and guide others who are less capable than you. This may apply to your workplace, community, family, or circle of friends. By drawing this card, you're being asked to, you are being encouraged to have confidence in your ability to motivate and inspire those who accompany you on your path. This card also indicates as indicates a role as a leader in your field. You may choose to rise to the top of your game with your unique talents or to lovingly lead others to a new and improved way of life. Either way, it's time to step up to the plate and adopt a position of authority for you have a natural ability to lead. In order to improve your current situations, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are encouraging you to be a compassionate leader. Remember, a successful leader leads alongside others rather than from above. Others graciously follow when you have their best interests at heart. So know that it is safe for you to lead the way. Your affirmation, I lead others and in turn serve a higher purpose. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So perhaps, Sagittarius, um, there is a way that you can salvage this situation. Perhaps there's a way that you can lovingly lead whomever this is that is so resistant in your life to an understanding of a better way of being. I do hope you enjoyed the reading. You can reach me at thegypsypsychic.com if you need to hit me up. Namaste.